year ago, the Auckland Storm arrived in Christchurch and wrestled the Farah Palmer Cup trophy out of Canterbury's hands. Now they return to Rugby Park with their eyes on another prize, the JJ Stewart Memorial Trophy, which has been in Canterbury's cabinet since 2017. Here goes Nicole Purdom and finds the target nicely. It's Neo in the middle. And Canterbury's line out functioning well early on as purdom has got it tucked in the back, not making any ground though. So Lynch Brown has to clear away and away comes Taylor Simpson to the line. Carrying forward and now Canterbury just five metres short of the Auckland line having had to defend their own pretty early on. Purdom again scored the only try against Waikato last week. Now there in support and she's rolled and able to get up go again. Stacey now just short of the line this time. Auckland desperate on the line but charging over, getting down nice and low and hard. And it's going to be Emma Dermody who'll come up with first points for Canterbury. Just a few metres short of the line. Ah, the Auckland Storm. Canterbury's defence holding firm for now. Look at Auckland's forwards all lining up, ready to carry again. Pick once more from Taufoa, driving towards the line, but just got on the angle a little. Still they go. Itunu buries her head. Itunu crashes over and just held up. Canterbury getting it underneath Aldora Itunu. They've got the penalty, Auckland. But goal line defence is great from the home side. Nankerville, quick tap. Goes herself, Dana Nankerville. She oh. crashes over at the second time of asking. Auckland do get their try. And it's Dana Nankerville to secure it for Auckland. Plenty of work, but the game smarts here of Dana Nankerville. She's been busy this year. Real leader in the team. And now oh, Blackwell spills that big shot put on her by Jaden Bush. And it's scooped up by Canterbury. And all of a sudden, uh, 15 metres short of the Auckland line once more. Advantage being played. Canterbury with a free shot here as Amy Mills carts it up. Lynch Brown and Gapper playing under advantage and that one's going to go out on the fault. They had the penalty and tried the little option. And now Gapper to extend the advantage just strokes it over easily and Canterbury jump out by three. And it's Canterbury 10, Auckland 7. I started to get a little ascendancy in the previous couple of scrums did Auckland. That one moving all over the place. Eventually, France Bloomfield can get it in, and away it comes for Auckland to work a set move off the base of the scrum. Foster was well read, but she's still going. Let's see out of Foster, and now there for Lelenga. Shoveled on for Tsuli Fali. Cheyenne Tsuli Fali almost oh. to the line. Just folded back at the last moment. Auckland, though, pressing Itunu. And oh, oh. Moy Moy's dropped it over the line. It was open for her. The work had been done, and Elizabeth Moimoy just shelled the last pass. Well, Auckland looked to have been awarded a penalty try. So some advice from the sideline, and Tiana Anderson goes straight to the posts. They were playing under advantage. It's a penalty try for Auckland. They are down to 14. It's Kalisi Tunga, who's in fact gone to the Sinbin. And they've got advantage here to have Auckland as Tuli Fali. Gets rid of the first oh. defender, then the flick ball out the back of the hand. Nankerville, she shits it on. Sorensen McGee, ball spinning. Auckland keeping it alive. Moimoy moi for Meki Meki Vahai. Just a little in and away, trying to take them on in the corner. Slides out of the tackle and bangs it down. Oh, what a, such a great team try. And especially Tully Fully there. Look at that little backhand ball. And then they just go to work, put the ball through their hands. Again, the low numbers get involved in Miki Miki Vahai, almost just in cruise mode a little bit. He manages to get over the line. And now the forwards will line up. Mills, who's worked hard with ball in hand. Amy Mills. Oh, Auckland over this one, though. Blackwell stealing that. Expertly done by Eloise Blackwell, the Auckland captain. And now again, they look to release down the edge. One-handed offload for Miki Miki Vahai. And now she does look to accelerate away. Just dragged down. Ball back in field for Moi Moi is a good one. And now Canterbury find themselves tracking backward. Miki Miki Vahai getting more and more involved. Just losing some ground, though, under the attention of Nia as Canterbury try and blow through Bloomfield for Moimoy Moi, who seems to be in everything at the moment. Elizabeth Moimoy Moi spins out of one then tries to run over the top of Ryan who did well as a bit of a speed bump and Auckland have the penalty. Dragged down tackles just when they needed but they have to make some more defensive plays here. Will Canterbury as Auckland now
Again, Moi Moi peels away for Blackwell. And this is where they've been really dangerous. Ball in hand, they've kept it alive well. Blackwell able to get up, go again. Canterbury under pressure with under a minute to go in this half. Auckland with a stiff win that they are playing into as well. Looking to extend this lead. Thalfour will pick and go again. Over this one is Tanga, and she'll concede the penalty. Just lost her feet. Tap and go from Moi Moi once more. Crashing over and down as well. Well, she's been in the thick of everything. And now gets the try as well. Elizabeth Moim will extend the advantage for Auckland going into half time. A very deserving five points for Elizabeth Moim. Moi. She started with a block busting run down the field earlier and then just powers over the line, charging at the Canterbury defence there. Just dragged down again short. Lynch Brown looking for her forwards, dragging the next one in. It's Tunga this time. She's just short. Auckland defending their line, but Canterbury pressing here deep in the half. Low and hard they go. This time they go out the back and for the corner. The hands are good, and the finish is excellent. From Winnie Palamo and said, except the pass was forward and Auckland were offside, so we'll go back and play the penalty instead. Quick tap again, it's Amy Mills who buries the head. Oh, they didn't quite get low enough though and they're able to ride her back. And now it's Bush. She's low and hard towards the line. Jaden Bush just short. Canterbury, they keep coming wave after wave at Auckland. Bayfield is almost there. Auckland's defence on the line is impressive so far. Short this time, still no way through the Auckland line for Canterbury. Once more, this time Mills is there, this time Mills is over, and they've held oh. her up. What defence under pressure on the line from Auckland. Just on the stroke of half time, Canterbury get nothing from it. And it's Auckland who will go into the halftime sheds with a healthy lead, 26 points to 10 over Canterbury. It is Braxton Sorensen McGee who will get the second half underway. Round three of the Farah Palmer Cup as Canterbury make a mistake straight off the bat. It, it's one of their most experienced players, Tarawariwa Gappa, is going to hand possession to Auckland straight away to start the half. France Bloomfield to feed the scrum right on the Canterbury 22. Just seconds into this first half and look at Auckland scrum marching forward now they're able to release their back line right now Kelly gives it off to Nankerville Sorensen McGee up into the line Nankerville held it and just held it up enough for Sorensen McGee to able to get along to the ocean Mayo. she's dragged down short of the Canterbury line and here's Blackwell oh. steaming onto it offload is good for her locking mate Lelenga and Auckland looking to punish again. Blackwell second carry. Blackwell over. Oh. Blackwell slams the ball down. And less than 90 seconds into the half, Auckland extend the lead through Eloise Blackwell. Play on with Milnes for now. They've got advantage too. Canterbury need points here to get back into it early in this half. And now driving low and hard. And just again, stop back. Drag back. Gapper. For Canterbury. Now Simpson, Taylor Simpson goes to the line. She stopped by Sorensen. McGee couldn't release it to Palamo out wide. And now Gapper keeps it in tight, goes over herself. And Sarawari with Gapper pegs one back for Canterbury. Again, go quickly at the line out. It's worked a good effect for Canterbury. It was Nia who dragged it down. And now Bayfield, the skipper, trucks it up and gets some good meters, peels off. A good 10 or so for Canterbury again. Nice front football here for Simpson. And now Gapper once more goes to the line herself with a little show and the go. And now Canterbury's turn to keep the ball alive. The offload sticking as Dermody has stopped on the 22. Quick pick and go up the middle for Amy Milnes, who's worked her socks off so far for the home team. And now Nia, who started it all with that good line-out ball. Kylie Simpson round the corner, purred him, and then the last pass doesn't quite stick. Still there, though, for Lycong, puts it on the donut, chase herself, and Fia Lycong has come up with an absolute special to drag Canterbury right back into it. Well, Canterbury have really turned the screws, haven't they? They will not lie down and give up the JJ Memorial Trophy that easy. And for Auckland, around they come. Sorensen McGee, and then it's picked oh. off 
by Palamo. Now who's got the speed? Winnie Palamo is looking for the support as they come in and look at Leotion Mau, but the worst swerving run from Winnie Palamo who's going to go 85 meters to score for Canterbury, plucked it out of the air and then had enough gas to get away from Auckland's oncoming defenders. And Canterbury, a third try in quick succession, and Winnie Palamo. Auckland get another good shove on though, and this time Bloomfield able to release away for Nangaville. Right, uh, Kelly goes in the second receiver position. She's been looking for that all game and now slices her way through the Canterbury defence. Carla Wright, R. Kelly, a bit of solo brilliance. Auckland looking for the points that might just snuff out Canterbury's hopes here. That's loose, but still there for who else? But Moy Moy bumps off one defender and then takes another couple to drag her down. And Auckland hot on to attack again. Bloomfield shipped on for Poi Safuono. Canterbury in angle seat, had hands on it, but Canterbury were caught offside, and now the referee's going to have a word here with Laura Bayfield, the Canterbury captain. Auckland have had two unsuccessful challenges for the JJ Stewart since they lost it in 2017, but this kick here from Braxton Sorensen McGee might just start to put Auckland out of reach, and well, we said it earlier, there was maybe one hand on the trophy. It's maybe one and a half now as Auckland go out to a 42 points to 27 lead. And for the first time since 2017, the JJ Stewart Memorial Trophy will leave Canterbury hands. And just like the Farah Palmer Cup trophy, it is heading north to the cabinet of Auckland. Auckland 43, Canterbury 27. It is Auckland who take the JJ Stewart Memorial Trophy for the first time since 2017.